Hey, I want to share with you some updates to the topical authority generator inside of ZimWriter, also known as TAG. And I think you'll really appreciate these updates because it, it dramatically increases the quality and also empowers you with a lot more flexibility with what you can do with it. So if you're not familiar with TAG, you can definitely check out my previous video on this, but you can find it in the AI Vault and the uh, Topical Authority Generator button, okay? Now, all of the options in here are going to look the same, but you'll notice something different. For the topical clusters, you can now select up to 30 topical clusters and up to 30 different long tails. Now, the total number of blog titles you can pick is still gonna be limited to 1,000. So 30 times 30 is gonna be 900 blog post titles if we're doing one title each. We can't like round this up to 1,000 or something. You'll get 900 out. You'll get one, one blog title for each long tail for each topical cluster, okay? Now, if you go down to 10, for instance, and 25, then we can choose four, and that will give us a nice even 1,000 of blog post titles for each long tail that you want. Now, some people don't want the blog post titles. So some people are like, I don't want the blog post titles. I just want topical clusters and long tails. You can do that now, okay? The blog post titles now has a zero option over here. If you click zero, you'll get a little addendum down here. It says, note setting zero blog post titles. It's much faster and much less expensive. So if we go over here to, I think it's caring for a newborn baby. I think that's what I did. Yeah. So this is on GPT-4 and I did 30 clusters and 30 long tails and I got 900 results, 900 rows. And the total cost was 70 cents. So instead of the, the, the cost of being like four or $5, which is typical with 900 or a thousand rows, now it's only 70 cents. Now this didn't give you those blog post titles. There's no columns for that. There's no merged columns or anything like that, okay? Because we don't have those blog post titles. We just have the long tail keywords and the clusters. Now, why might you want this? Maybe you want to spend more time fleshing out this idea. Maybe you really want to go you know, step by step through this and really uh, not just rely on the AI to create your clusters, but see what the AI has come up with and then start using your own brain and, and using other resource sources to come up with your perfect topical authority map. And a lot of people do just want to do that. You could also just sell this to a client. You could spruce this up a little bit and sell it to a client. But yeah, this entire thing with the GPT-4 was only 70 cents. The other thing you'll notice is the quality of the output is has really skyrocketed up. So you'll have a lot more categories now that will actually be two words in here. And then a lot of the, the blog post titles will actually be better quality in relation to what they're supposed to be. Like the what post, now it's actually a lot of times going to start with what. It will do it a lot better with GPT-4 now. All right, but even Turbo has gotten a boost, the, the how-to post. So this didn't start out as a how-to. Maybe that would in the GPT-4. But the listicle post, now we have a 10 simple tips. Guide post. Didn't really say guide. Historical post, the evolution of dorm room productivity. So you're going to get a lot higher quality with the gpt 3.5 Turbo and GPT-4 when it comes to the blog post titles. All right, so that's the updates with this. Let me talk about a couple tips and tricks to using this based on the feedback that I've gotten in the past week. So you can go through here and let's say we, you use your brain to like delete stuff that you don't want, that you don't think would work out well, and you end up with this list of blog post titles that you want to write about. So what you can do is you can take, after cleaning it, the result of your cleaning, and copy it just from the, this is the blog post title column. You can copy those and go over here to the bulk writer and paste it in, okay? These are all the, the blog post titles we want to now write an article about. We can click start bulk writer. We'll say, okay, I'm gonna write 21 blog posts. It's really easy to do. Now, the other thing you can do is you can just select stuff like this, but the problem is when you select stuff like, and you hold down control or shift or whatever it is to select things and you copy it, if you go to ZimWriter to paste it in or anywhere to paste it in, it's going to paste in like the stuff that wasn't select, like the stuff in between the rows. So what you'll have to do is open another Excel tab and then paste it in there and then copy from there and then paste it into ZimWriter. It's just like an Excel type of issue, so to speak. That's just if you want to write about the blog post titles, okay? And you don't have to do it in the bulk, by the way, before, before I explain more. You can say, you know what, this won't really work well in the bulk, this particular title right here. So I'm going to go over here to the SEO writer, and I'm going to write about it inside of here, okay? 
or maybe you want to write about it in the bulk SEO CSV. We have all these titles, but they all need, oops, there we go. They all need like some background information or, or something like that. So you can load up the bulk SEO CSV file and we can just come in here and delete this stuff and start putting in some new columns with data for our article titles. You can put in the outline focus if you want. Now, if you put in the outline focus, you're not going to use the, like the brackets and things like that inside of here, it would simply be, you'd have to like manually come in here and just take this portion right here, just like the sentence portion, not with the brackets and the stuff. And you'd have to go to there and put it in like that. Then you could get some background information you could go and either just paste in the paragraphs that you want, or you could paste in some different headings. We could paste in a couple different URLs. You can completely create the outline and you can put in some SEO keywords if you want to, and you can even put in your own category if you want to. So maybe you want to use the bulk SEO CSV file. All right. What you can also do is you can use this merged column over here. Now this merged column, if we take some of these, we paste these into the bulk writer of ZimWriter. So just write in this box right here. It will create a first article called what are essential tips for surviving dorm life. It will create a category called dorm essentials and assign the written article to that category. And it will also use this outline focus. Okay. Then when it finishes writing this, it will go into the next article. Here's the next article. It will write it, assign it to this category and use this outline focus as it creates the outline. So this is another way to do it. Now, maybe you don't want the categories automatically created. Maybe you want to use categories that are inside of here. You can do that too. ZimWriter is completely flexible. So what we can do if we just want that is we can say the merged column. I want, this is where you do the Excel math a little bit. You put an equal sign and you go over here to the title select the title and then you press and, and then select the outline focus. Okay. So E3 and G3, and there we go. And then we just fill down. So now we have in the merged column, just the outline focus and just the title of the article. I think there's some stuff that we deleted in here. So yeah, you'd have to, yeah, you know, if you're going to delete stuff, you need to make sure that you delete like the whole row. Otherwise it's going to screw you up. So. I get in here and delete the whole row. There we go. Okay. So now you can safely paste this stuff in and it will make sense. All right. So we paste this in and there you go. So now it will write the article, what are essential tips for surviving dorm life? And then it will use this outline focus, but it won't assign any categories unless you go over here and select a specific category that you want from the drop down. So you can have it just assigned to all the, it has to go somewhere. You can go to all, or you can select a particular like caramel popcorn. That can, that can be our category right there. What else? Some people keep asking, they're like, do I need to write every single blog title in here? Isn't there going to be cannibalization? Yeah, there could be. That's why you need to go through this with your brain. And depending on how important this site is to you, or this long tail cluster is to you, or this topical cluster is to you, go through it and figure out what you want to delete and what you actually want to write about. Because before this, it would take a heck of a lot longer to figure out what you want to write and, and whatnot. But now we've saved you a lot of time with the tag, but you still need to use some of that brain power. There's nothing, you don't want a one-click solution. If you had a one-click solution, then everybody would be using the one-click solution and no one would rank. So you put in a little bit more effort than the competition, all right, because there's a lot of lazy people out there. You put in a little bit more effort and it will pay dividends for you. I think that's it. We've covered the improvements to tag. We've covered how to, how to put stuff in. You can either put the blog post title column in, you can put stuff from over here in the merged column in, you can use it in the SEO writer. You can use it in the bulk SEO CSV, a lot of different options and realize when you put stuff in here, you can still use these options down here as long as they don't conflict. Okay. So as long as there's no conflicting things down here, you can create a completely bespoke article tailored to your particular niche that's going to be unique and, and no one else is going to have something else like it. So very few AI solutions offer that kind of flexibility. ZimWriter does. If you want to get ZimWriter, there's a link in the description down below. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Also join the Facebook group. There's 11,000 members in there that would love to, to help you with your AI and SEO journeys. Other than that, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Good luck with your content generation.